Welcome to another Transformers 4 Age of Extinction review. This time we're looking at, at the very cool Deluxe Class Drift. Now, he turns into what I can best describe as a blue car. I have no idea what kind of car this is. I know there's a lot of people that's going to probably correct me about what is it, what this is, but I don't have a clue. I, all I do know is that it was also used for uh, a toy in the Transformers Cybertron line, and that's about it. Uh, I forget the character's name. I think it might have been Evac. Uh, he is a very slick car. Very nice paint applications. Very uh, silver on the wheels of the of the tires, which is very cool. The back uh, tail lights are painted silver, which is uh, something we don't see quite often anymore. The uh, silver headlights. Uh, the logo on the front of the grill is painted red. Very nice shade of a kind of a baby blue on the bottom. And I know it's like coming off uh, too dark in the camera because of all my lights, which I probably have too close. But the the light, uh, the top of the car is a very, you know, nice dark shade of blue, and the uh, windows themselves are uh, translucent blue as well. And nothing really too uh, spectacular about it. Just a super solid. Uh, car mode and you can store the long swords on the underneath of it and I'm unsure if you can store the uh, smaller swords elsewhere but you might be able to but I'm not certain on that so uh, he does have Autobot logo on this door and on well, not on that door which is I'm not sure if that's normal or not but you can kind of see it right there very subtle I kind of might actually take that off somehow because I think it does kind of take away the vehicle. But yeah, very cool looking car mode. Uh, nothing, like, maybe a little bit of silver or whatever detail in it right here would have been nice. So you could see some more of that engine detail. But other than that, can't really complain too much about it. First step to get him into robot mode is I'm going to just take off the swords. Here on the bottom, and while I'm uh, down on the side, I'm just gonna take these flaps and fold them over. Uh, like that. And I'm going to just simply pull the arms out of the body, just a little bit like that. And the arms are pretty much to the top of the car gonna lift up the whole section like this and just fold the hood underneath like so and go take the back part and uh, just bring it up like that and then last step about this just gonna flip it around like that and next step I'm going to bring this whole uh, head piece up which is Actually, a little bit tricky to do. It actually fits in rather snugly. Just gonna bring the chest down. That will kind of bring the head up like so. And finally, for the legs, just gonna split them right about here. Gonna bring the side pieces down and just take this little doohickey, fold it down on the back, which you actually cannot see this piece here fold the foot down and legs and down and here we have drift and robot mode now I have to say right off the bat I really really love this figure it is probably my favorite deluxe out of the age of extinction line so far I really love the gold applications on the face really uh, brings a great amount of detail in the sculpting I love the samurai armor bits everywhere uh, the articulation is really nice, we'll get into those parts uh, in a little bit. And just, it is a little bit on the small side, but since I'm trying to stick to mostly uh, Deluxes and Voyagers for the main characters, like uh, Optimus and Megatron and Galvatron, whatever, this uh, fits in really nicely with that scale. So I can't really complain too much about the size. Uh, as far as articulation goes, he does have a ball jointed head here, so it does allow for some uh, emotion you can see his kind of creepy smile there he does have a swivel here 
at the shoulder and uh, that came off <laughs> was not ex I was kind of expected wow that was kind of loose there for a second but it uh yeah it goes back and forth I wonder if it's gonna pop out again oh that was way too close did that just kind of popped out I do have one problem here that this uh, back piece as far as I can tell it does not really peg onto his back anyway but um, I might be wrong in that but I can't find a secure way for it to actually peg onto his back because that's kind of annoying uh, he has a ratcheting elbow which is pretty unusual for deluxe class figures he does have a little bit of wrist movement there too no waist articulation he does have a, also a ratcheting hip here of a mid thigh swivel and a little bit of knee articulation uh, all the junk on his uh, lower leg kind of gets in the way he does have a little bit of foot articulation too but it's not much but um his legs his feet have a natural incline uh, sculpt to them so when you stand him he, his legs are meant to be a little bit separated now you can already see as uh, from the last section uh, I already have two of his little katana, uh, katanas uh, stored on his back which I think I'm, I'm pretty much just gonna leave them there because uh, they look a little bit silly in his hand but of course if you really want to you can switch them around but uh, I believe it's meant to have a, him uh, hold his larger swords and it looks pretty badass not gonna lie I can't I cannot wait to see Ken Watanabe's portrayal of Drift in the movie which is coming out this Sunday this Sunday uh, this Friday don't know why I said Sunday so but especially the multi, uh, multiple swords he has the posability and play value of this toy is uh, very high Although I would have liked to see I have a little one more accessory. Uh, I'm not sure if he's, if he's actually going to have a gun in the movie, but just a little, just a you know long distance gun, just for you know. Obviously, Drift is going to be more of a close quarters combat character, but it would have been nice to have the option. Have a gun. More maybe they, he doesn't use one at all. Drift is definitely the best deluxe class figure in the age of extinction uh, toy line so far I'm very happy with him he has amazing amount of character to him he just has a the amazing samurai presence to him the, the face sculpt is a little bit creepy with the weird little grin he has but I, I don't mind it too much I love the samurai pieces on him the swords are really cool doesn't uh, have a, any stupid mech tech uh, gimmicks to uh, weigh the figure down or take away from the figure uh, playability or enjoyment at all and I really recommend uh, picking this one up it is really cool and just will make a great uh, addition to your collection alright until next time thanks for watching